The Living Waters by William Whitney Bourdon. Read John chapter 4, verse 4 through 42. Living Waters, where to get them, how to get them, what they do for us. First, we must have a knowledge of the living waters. Second, we must have a desire for the living waters. Third, we must ask for the living waters. We must know the source of the living waters. Jeremiah 2, verse 13. Jeremiah 17, verse 13. We must have a desire, thirst, for the living waters. Contrast strong desire with lack of desire. Jesus asking water of a Samaritan woman. John chapter 4, verse 7 and 10. We must ask for the living waters. Luke chapter 11, verses 9, 10, and 13. The living waters are a free gift. Invitation. Come. Isaiah 55, verse 1. Isaiah 44, verse 3. John 7, verse 37. Revelations 22, 17. Promise of the living water. Revelations 21, verse 6. Living waters, what will they do for us? First, quench thirst, satisfy. John 4:14. 4, Second, equip for service. John 7, verse 37 through 39. The individual Christian is not merely satisfied himself by drinking of the living waters, but after he has received the living waters himself, he becomes a fountain of living waters from which goes out a stream that gives nourishment and strength to all those around him. The individual Christian should be a center of life-giving water to all with whom he comes in contact. Living waters satisfy the individual himself and equip him for service for others. Living waters signify the Spirit. John chapter 7 verse 39 Luke chapter 11 verse 13 Alternative, give forth salt water. The individual Christian must either give forth living water or salt water. Refusal to accept the living waters brings punishment. Contrast Psalms chapter 1 with Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 5 and 8. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let him that heareth say, Come. And let him that is athirst come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Revelations 22, verse 17. End of William Whitney Bordon from the Christian Workers Magazine, page 133, dated September 1916.